Hey, hey, welcome back, man. Show you how to do some rear spring bushings. Um, I posted one before and uh, really didn't show in detail how to do it. Everybody didn't like it. So I'm going to give you a video here how to do it. Uh, first of all, uh, of course, you want to jack the golf cart up. Um, and then the easiest way to do it, man, is put it on jack stands and just take the weight off the rear end. Or you want, or and just even want to jack it up. And just keep jacking it up until you can move it freely. That way, we can, that way we can take the bolt out. There won't be no tension on the bolt. All right. Travel over here, Travis. Here's the easy go nine sixteenths. Now, trust me when I say this, they're not all this easy to change. Some of them you got to cut out with a grinder. That's when you hope you're living your life right. Because you're going to cut some. All right. Then what I always do, too, is I take, while well, I got the back loose, I take the, the, the front off, too. That way the front can fall down farther. Go to the front, guys. Can you see it, buddy? It's a 916 on an easy go is a three quarter and a 916. I always take my wrench and rest my wrench under the spring here. So whenever you take it off, you can get some leverage on it. Again, when I'm going the wrong way, I'm gonna help. Now, the, uh, the front bush on the easy go does not have no sleeve in it, it's just got a shoulder bolt. Bolt in the nuts. Probably get a ratchet, an air ratchet, or an impact gun, but it's hard. Whereas that's a hard area to get to. And then when you let the weight down off the jack, take the shot loose. Take a hammer, put it in there like that, and then slide your bushings in. Jack her back up. Line it up. Put your bolt in. In this case here, you want to go back to the front, delete the back loose, put your front in, put your sleeve in the bushing, tap it in there, and tap the sleeve through, and put your bush on the other side. I just slide it over the sleeve to make it easier. Walk over there, Josh, over there. You know what I do? I just leave. I just start in the bushing like that. The 
top one I normally put like that. Tap it in there. Get it on there, jack it up. Line it back up. Start the bushing on the sleeve again on the top, like that. And then put your bracket back on. Or the shackle plate, really. Put the shackle plate back on. Put that nut right over there. And then as you tighten the bolt and nut up, the shackle plate will actually pull the uh, bushing onto the sleeve. 916 range, 916 socket. Alright. Alright, come over this side. I'm back to the back. I'm gonna take this right here. You just leverage and push it rear and forward some. Like I said, a good little tip, man. It's kind of, you can work this back and forth to get it right here. You can put your pry bar, screwdriver, whatever you got. You can pry on that to line your uh, the front the front of the spring up. And you got a three-quarter socket, 916 wrench. Now, the bolt here is the shoulder bolt. So make sure when you, you tighten it up that it's flush with the frame. Sometimes the nut don't sit right. All right, man, there you go. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Hey, hey, hey.